you came across this question in your jump exam how will you solve it this question is extremely very easy now let's solve together the question says what quantity of aluminium these elements written here must be noted so what quantity of aluminium is deposited when a current of 10a a here means ampers this also is very very important to solve this question is passed through a solution of aluminium salt for 1930 seconds now what do we do to solve this question this question is extremely very easy first of all we have to note the topic to which this question is from in chemistry and from the look of things this question is from the topic in chemistry called electrolysis but specifically electrolysis calculations so you have to know how to solve questions on electrolysis calculations be it the faraday's first law of electrolysis faraday's second law of electrolysis general calculations in electrolysis i already have video lessons that explains all of this aspect and as well as the theoretical aspect of electrolysis understanding what electrolysis is all about understanding some basic terminologies like electrodes electrolyte the electrolytic cell electrochemical cell all these have been explained here on my channel the link to these videos will be in the description of this particular video so let's get into this question first of all we have to since we've agreed that this question is from electrolysis calculations then we have to note the formula that we'll be using to solve this question and now if you observe they said what quantity this word what quantity can mean different things are you there in those video lessons i've explained all what you need but in this video lesson i'm still going to explain and give you the formula to solve this question and as well as give you your own practice question at the end of solving this question to master this aspect properly so now they said what quantity i don't know quantity can mean different things quantity can mean mass quantity can mean concentration quantity can mean volume as the case may be so to know exactly what we are looking for we we'll look at the options if you observe you can see that all the values in the options were all expressed in grams that means they are asking us to get mass in this question so we can as well just say what's mass of aluminium wow what's mass of aluminium now there is a formula used to solve general calculation questions seen in electrolysis and that formula is what i'm about writing on the board because that's the formula we need to solve questions under this aspect if it's on faraday's first law i'm going to tell you and in that video lesson i explained how to know questions that is on faraday's first law of electrolysis and as well as knowing questions that is on faraday's second law of electrolysis i've already explained all of these things in my video lesson so make sure you go watch that video after you've watched this video and as well after you solve your practice question and provide the answer in the comment section so let's progress to solve this question so the first thing you must know here is the formula used to solve questions on electrolysis under this aspect so the formula we need to solve this question is simply this solution here is the formula the formula is simply mass which they are asking me to get is equal to molar mass take note molar mass times i times t over q times f in that video lesson i explained the meaning of all of this i'm still going to tell you the meaning of these parameters in this formula you can see they are asking you to get mass in some other cases they can say calculate something else so it's not just mass always you look for they can tell you anything they can tell you to calculate i they can tell you to calculate t i'm going to tell you what all of this means so this is just the formula so if they tell you to calculate i or t or q or f it's just for you to make all of those guys subject to formula and solve the question it's simple so watch closely as we solve this question together so here you can see this is molar mass now in electrolysis calculations we don't have business this must be, must be noted what i'm about saying is very very important we don't have business with like in calculative aspect we don't have business with the compound they said aluminum so that is a compound but what we are interested in is just the single element they mentioned 
which is aluminium. So what we just need to know about aluminium is knowing the atomic mass of aluminium so we can get our molar mass. And the atomic mass of aluminium is 27. So since it's the element, automatically it becomes the molar mass as well because we'll be using it to solve. What's the unit for molar mass? 27 grams per mole. The unit for molar mass is grams per mole. I believe you understand what I'm saying. So what I'm saying here is this, because in some other questions, you can be giving compound, they'll give you the compound. You don't need to calculate, you, you don't need to start calculating molar mass of compound. All you have to do is just to calculate molar mass of the element, the single element they highlighted for you. That's all what you need. Don't go make, don't go and make the mistake by calculating the molar mass of the compound and putting it here as your molar mass. You won't get the correct answer to the question. Look for the elements they are specifically talking about. And then the atomic mass, which is 27, will be given in the question as well. But it's good you know so many elements and their atomic masses. So you can see, since the atomic mass of aluminum is 27, automatically the molar mass is 27 grams per mole. Because grams per mole is the unit of molar mass. So what is I? I is simply what we call current. And current is always expressed in amperes. As given to us in this question, which is 10A. Are you there? Whereby T is time always, and time must be expressed in seconds. And if your time in the question was expressed in minutes or hours, make sure you convert that particular value to seconds. It's simple. So the time given to us is 1930 seconds. For instance, the time was in, uh, for instance, it was in minutes. Listen carefully. For instance, the time in the question was in minutes. What do we do? We convert it to seconds. What do we do? We we'll times by just 160. You see, the value given to you times 60, you get your answer in seconds. Are you there? But for instance, that same time is given to you in hours. What do you do? You times by 260. 60 times 60. When you do this, you get your answer in seconds as well. Are you following? It is very, very important to note all these. So, as Elia said, if the time in the question is given to you in hours, make sure you convert it to seconds by times in that value in hours times 260. If it's a minute, times it by just 160 as shown here. So, now they've, they've already converted the time for us to seconds already, so we don't need any of that. So, what does Q talk about? Q has to do with the charge of the element, which is aluminium. Charge of what element? And from the look of things, this is something you should know. Aluminium has plus three charge. So automatically the Q becomes three. There are reasons to all of these things, but make sure you go watch my full video lesson on the topic electrolysis. So you see some common elements and their charges. Because there are some elements the jump exam normally tests on every single year. So it's important you know those elements and their charges. But there are reasons to why all of these numbers are like this. So moving further, that's for Q. F is a constant Faraday's and it is 96500 coulombs. That's the Faraday's constant. So you can see we've actually brought up every single thing we need to solve this question. So what becomes the mass of aluminium? What's the molar mass has said already? 27 grams per mole times what's the I, which is the current, given the question 10 amperes. What's the time? It is 1930 divided by what is the Q? It is 3. Please go watch my other video lessons on the full concept of electrolysis calculations times 3 times 96500 columns, which is F. So when I, let's see our calculator to get our answer. So it's going 27 times 10 times 1930 divided by 3 times 96500. That is 1.8 grams. Wow. So the, we had the mass of aluminum to be 1.8 grams. So you can see the answer to the question becomes option B. You can see how questions under this aspect are being solved without stress, not difficult. All what you need is to watch closely as this question was solved. So get ready for your own practice question, okay? I want to just alter this question and, you know, let's say, for instance, the element was changed to zinc. Zinc. All right. And it's going to be like of a solution of a zinc compound. Let's just call it a zinc compound. Or uh, the current will be changed as well to like 5 amperes. And the time I'm going to change it to to be or 190 minutes. So if it's 190 minutes, I believe you know what to do. You make sure you convert it to seconds and uh, you are good to go. So and as well, the atomic mass of zinc is not 27.
father, it is 65. So I believe you, you've gotten all what you need to solve this question. It is extremely very easy. So if you find my video lesson helpful, make sure you click the subscribe button to my channel and also share my videos with your friends. Thanks for watching. To have more understanding about chemistry calculations and solving all of these type of questions, I already have them on the chemistry masterpiece, okay, which is calculations and keynotes in chemistry. So if you are preparing to write the jam exam, this book is very, very important for you. Now, for more information, getting the chemistry masterpiece, do well to direct message me via my WhatsApp number. It will be on the screen.